In, in order to join a conversation that is, is spreading rapidly, not only across Toronto, but throughout the world, uh, we recognize that it's important for us to tap into the new social media opportunities that exist for our organization for, and for our society. There's an important conversation going on and we know we have to be part of it. And it's a means by which we can reach a very broad audience, a targeted focused audience, uh, in order to provide information, to, to learn from, from that discussion that's taking place. It's really important that we participate. And, and, and therefore, we've undertaken a social media strategy for the Toronto Police Service, where we are going to integrate those tools into our communications uh, policies and, and procedures. I think, I think it, it, it creates great opportunity for us to reach out to a new audience, and it also creates opportunity for us to provide better and more effective services. One of the great hallmarks of effective community policing is effective communications. We need to engage in a conversation with the people that we are sworn to serve. We have done that historically through a number of means. We're very active in community consultation, for example. Even our officers out on the beat. You know, we've made it possible for them to meet with, with the community, to engage in, in conversation with the community, to learn from them, to share information. And it is by communication. It is by engaging the people that we serve in, in, a, in a, an effective discussion about what it is we're trying to achieve in their neighborhoods, how we can work collaboratively together, how we can successfully working together keep our community safe, that we have really been able to improve community safety in the City of Toronto. We're now looking at the next generation of communication for, for our officers and our organization to reach out to a broad audience in, in, in the City of Toronto, you know, just to ensure that we have the opportunity to share information, to learn from, from the public's concerns and to, to create those partnerships that we know work, making this a safe city. Well, I think it's, it's, it's important for police officers to communicate with the public. I think there's great value in those face-to-face -face interactions that take place in neighborhoods every day. But we also know that there are many people that we're not going to be able to reach in that way. And, and, and social media creates for us an extraordinary opportunity to reach more broadly into many, many communities and, and to, to provide us with a forum in which important discussions can take place, conversations and relationships can be built. I think that, that the opportunity must be there for police officers to use this important tool, to, to use this medium uh, to do their jobs more effectively. And, and so we have an, undertaken a strategy where we'll be providing direction and training uh, through policy and through procedure uh, to our people but we want to support them in helping them do their job and we think the use of social media creates new opportunity for police officers and members of this service to reach out more broadly to a community to provide more effective service and to communicate more effectively with with the people that, that we have to talk to we have to have that relationship with the people in the city i want the people of the city to have easy access to their police service and to their police officers and social media can help us to achieve that uh, we have for example a number of initiatives that we're undertaking. One of the things that we're talking about is allowing people online to report some less serious crimes. And you know, so many people are already using the internet and using social media tools uh, to, to do their banking, to engage in other business activities. And this is just a natural extension of, of that to change that has taken place in our society to make that uh, opportunity, that service available to the people of the city. We, we've also uh, got some other tools that we were also implementing. For example, people get their vulnerable sector checks where they have to come in and get their background checks. We're now making it possible for them to apply to do that online so they, they don't have to come in to police headquarters and stand in a long lineup. They're able to do that online and I, and I think that's a, a more uh, customer friendly and more efficient way of delivering that service uh, to the people. We also hope to use social media tools to provide people with information that will help keep them safe. Information about uh, traffic issues, information about crime that's taking place in their neighborhoods, information about some of the, the programs and, and projects that the police service is undertaking in their, in their neighborhoods so that they'll have an awareness of them and also an opportunity to participate in them. And I think it's through that conversation and in through their participation that we are going to improve the quality of our service uh, to, to all of our neighborhoods. It's a more efficient way to, to reach a broader uh, audience and that's also one of the responsibilities we have in the Toronto Police Service to find more economical, efficient and effective ways to do our job and deliver our services.